federal government has signed a sum of 900 million euro financial agreements with the European Union. The financial package is meant to foster economic security, economic development rather, security, youth and women development, digital economy, sustainable investment, among others. Correspondent Kunle Ojo completes the story. The European Union has declared its support for the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the area of poverty alleviation, security, youth and women development, economic development, among others. And this has culminated into the signing of four different agreements to cover this area. Speaking at the European Union and Nigeria Strategic Dialogue Meeting held in Abuja, the European Union Commissioner for International Partnership, Juta Upalien, said the financial agreements formed a central part of the EU-Nigeria cooperation to advance the country green, resilient, digital inclusive transition under the government priorities and global gateway. She maintained that the EU positive offer to deliver sustainable and trusted connections with the partner countries, promising that the Union will continue to invest in the common future and priorities of security, democracy and prosperity for all. On his part, the Minister for Budget and National Planning, Senator Abubakar Bagudu, said the strategic meeting marked yet another milestone in the annals of EU-Nigerian development cooperation saying the EU-Nigerian relations is one of the most vibrant development partnership in terms of volume, thematic, interventions, modalities and geographical spread in the deployment of resources. Just three years ago, Africa has seen rising insecurity and humanitarian crisis coupled with an increase in drift away from democracy with a number of coups taking place across Africa. The climate crisis is hitting even harder than we feared and our climate action remains far too slow. Now more than ever, a more coordinated response is necessary to assist us in adapting to proven systems for sustainable development and effective integration of our economy into the global system within the framework of Nigeria's National Development Plan and the Renewed Hope Agenda, the manifesto for which our president campaigned and got elected, the single most important commitment that we propel Nigeria to lasting security. While admitting that Nigeria has become a force to be reckoned with in Africa and beyond, the EU Commissioner for International Partnership promised to sustain the partnership with Nigeria for rapid socio-economic and political development, while Bagudu assured that the present administration under President Bola Tinobu remain committed to policies aimed at ensuring ease of life for Nigerians. Other speakers at the occasion emphasized the need for continuous dialogue and the need to abide with the term of the financial agreement rehabilitating training infrastructure and enabling access to innovative tools uh, agriculture such as remote sensing based on our satellite Copernicus for climate anticipation and geolocation. We not only expand our uh, economic growth, economic development, but we serve to reduce some of the peace and security issues that have been identified, including the illegal immigration. The economy in Nigeria, by in particular expanding access to clean, efficient and reliable energy by mitigating environmental pollution and greenhouse gases. package was designed to drive new programs through Global Gateway, such as climate smart agriculture, sustainable energy, access to health services, education, support to the youth and educational development in the Northwest region, among others. High point of the event was the endorsement of the agreement by the Minister for Budget and National Planning and the European Union Commissioner for International Partnership. From Abuja, Pule Ojo, Galaxy TV.